Hey, first grade. Okay, so we are continuing our learning with our unit 16, which is personal financial literacy. Okay, now, um, if you remember last week, we talked about a couple of things and we were introduced to income. Now we know income is a way to earn money. Now there's two ways that you can earn income. You can earn income through your job or by selling something. Now you can have a job or sell something in three different locations. You can do it at home, at school, or in your community. In order to do those jobs or to perform a task, there are some um, character traits that we might have to help us. So for instance, you might have a skill, which is something that you're good at, a hobby, which is something that you enjoy, or education, meaning that you go to school to learn how to do your job or task. We also talked about goods and services. Now, what is a good? A good is something that can be touched or felt. And these goods are made or sold, okay? So like a Starbucks coffee, a baseball cap, a car. Um, McDonald's is a good because it's something that can be touched and it's sold or a toy, your PS4. Those are all goods because they can be touched and they're made and sold. Now, what is a service? A service is a task that is provided for people by people. That means that you're helping someone. So maybe you're babysitting or you're recycling or you're folding laundry, or maybe you're even mowing the grass and helping your mom in the garden. You are helping someone, so you are providing a service. Now this week, we're gonna talk about what is the difference between income and a gift? We're gonna talk about needs versus wants and spending money versus saving money. Now today, um, we're gonna talk about difference between income and gifts. Now, what is income? We know income is a way to earn money. That means that you did something and you received money in, um, in turn, right? Now, how can you earn income? We just said you could have a job, or you can sell something. Now these two items, um, these two ways to earn income can be done at home, at school, or in your community. Now think about it. Um, let's talk about school, right? Let's say you are a principal, right? You have a job and you are the principal of a school. Would that be a job? Or would you be selling something? Right, that's a job. Well, let's think maybe you're selling um, lemonade. Where could you sell lemonade? Could you sell it at home, at school, or in your community? Well, you could sell lemonade anywhere. You could have a lemonade stand in your yard at home. You could have a lemonade stand at school, or you could even have a lemonade stand in the park in your community. So those are ways that you can earn income. Now, how can you receive that income? That means how can you get the income? Again, you can have a job. So maybe you work at a bank or you are a pilot and you fly airplanes. They receive income for doing their job. You could do chores at home. So maybe your chore is to bathe your dog or mop the floor. If you do your chores, maybe mom and dad would give you money, and that means you just received income. Or maybe you can sell something. So maybe, again, selling lemonade or old toys that you no longer want. That's going to help you receive income. Now, remember, income is a way to earn money. So that means you have to do something to receive that money. You're, it's not going to just fall into your lap. You have to work for it, or you have to complete a task to get income. Now, what is a gift? Well, a gift is money given to you. You received it, but you did not earn it. For example, maybe it's your birthday and you received some money in a birthday card. Well, you just got a gift. 
That means someone gave it to you, but you did nothing to earn that. Or maybe you got a gift card. So somebody gave you money, but you did not earn it. Okay, it's a gift. Now let's practice. Jim gives his dog a bath and earns $2. Is this money received as income or is it a gift? Well, I'm thinking Jim is doing a task. He has a job. He's giving his dog a bath. And in return, he received $2. So did Jim have to do a job before he got his money? Yes, so he just received income. If Jim was just walking down the road and someone say, oh, someone said, oh, Jim, congratulations on, um, I don't know, congratulations on winning the science fair. Here's $2. Well, Jim didn't do anything for that. So he just earned $2. That would be a gift instead. Now let's look at this one. Jan gets money for her birthday from her aunt Sue. Is this money received as income or is it a gift? Well, Jan had a birthday and in return for her birthday, her aunt Sue gave her money. Did she do a job? No. Did she complete a task? No, it's just her birthday. So that money that she received from Aunt Sue would actually be a gift. That means uh, Jan did not do anything to earn that money besides being the birthday girl. Awesome job. Okay, so this is the end of our presentation today. What you're going to do is you're going to go on to Seesaw and complete your activity. And then I will see you tomorrow when we learn something new. Bye, first grade.